<laughs> Welcome to Mort's Garage. I'm going to tell you a tale of game hunting at the swap meet. Come closer if you would. Here in this game sack, there are games that I have found. Okay, now that's too close. Back up a little bit. Personal space, guys. Come on. Yeah, it was another day at the swap meets today where I found video games at great prices, at great values, great values. This, 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 this. I'm gonna make your head rock! stuff so today's a special video because I'm also gonna show you that you can still game hunt on offer up and still find things because offer ups kind of not been a great place to find games for me lately and so I've just sort of ignored it and then I tried to find some stuff and oh I found some stuff the bars are dropping the morning is cold the backpack is empty it's time for the swap So as I arrive at the swap meet and begin to walk around, I'm not feeling too hopeful. I walk all the way through, nothing found at literally any booth of interest to me until I find a couple of vendors who have become friends of mine. Thanks for having me, sir. I bought from this vendor the game King of Dragons probably a few years back on the Super Nintendo. Awesome, guys. And uh, they said, we've got some games for you to check out. Oh, I'm definitely interested in these three. What about that? Oh, the original SmackDown vs. Raw. WW something. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. I'm not a big wrestling guy, so I couldn't tell you which WWE, F, or G it ah. is. But it is a WWF something with wrestling and guys that look like they want to hurt me. And John Cena. Literally, I'm invisible. And then uh, SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. I've learned that this man's name is Brock Lesnar, and it looks like he's ticking a... I'm not going to say that word. This isn't the Game Chasers. I can't believe how much the value is jumped even on the Game Chaser now. And the big high value game they're talking about was this one, The Godfather, the Dawn's Edition. Now, specifically that it is the Dawn's Edition, you'll notice on the disc, it is marked as such. It's not just a different cover with a um, different manual. It is actually, the disc is different as well. Kind of like the Stranglehold game found a while back. We know that you know your stuff. You know that we want to get some um, value for this, but also at the same time, we know that you're gonna probably try and flip these and make a little more money. So let's all help each other out. So I would do, on this one, I'd do 30. On this one, I would do 20. And on this one, I would do 12. I basically offered at what I thought was the highest I could offer for these games. So we're 30, 20, and 12, so we're at 62. This game in particular is going for about, anywhere sold, eBay solds are between 50 and 70. I was 65, is that cool? 65? Yeah, I'll do 65. I'm very happy with that. Guys, if you're watching, thank you as always for the great deals. You are wonderful, and I hope to buy from you again another time. PS3 is really climbing in value in general right now, and The Godfather just had its big anniversary. So even though I paid a lot for that game, I do think it's going to only climb in value. And I'm probably gonna sit on it for a little bit before I list it. We'll see. What up, man? Got some toys today. It's, uh, were you playing it's with these before? Back. You just kinda got tired of them? Yeah, yeah. I'm done with them. But I did find Need for Speed Carbon. Uh, the reason I bought this was because the vendor told me what I want to hear and what every game hunter wants to hear. One dollar. This was one dollar. Uh, it was one dollar. Uh, and, uh, you know, for a buck, um, I, I rarely will say no to dollar games unless they're sports titles that are common. 
I love getting to see my buddy Michael uh, over at his booth. I'm digging through and I see some new Genesis games I haven't seen before. The first one is this extremely clean and extremely complete copy of, did I just break something? This copy has been certifiably snapped barely by Mort in Mort's garage right here on camera which adds to the value. You can see this little piece of plastic here. It is still in really clean, great shape overall. It is Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. I think the Super Nintendo one's superior because I've never played this one. And objectively, my opinions are factual. It is no use debating me. He wanted 20 for it. I wasn't too interested at 20. It goes for about 25 or so. And as I'm standing there looking through stuff, he goes, hey, I got something for you. Check this out. And he brings this game out. Captain America and the Avengers from Data East. This normally did come with a collector's pin inside. This one doesn't have that, but it does have the manual. It is in clean shape overall. I don't know anything about this game. It appears to be some kind of a beat-em-up, a four-player beat-em-up, even though it's one or two players, so you can select from four. But it's one or two players. It is an arcade game originally. And these arcade games are just classics. Data East made some really great ones. I used to love the game Bad Dudes, which has the best opening text scrawl of any video game ever made. No. What do you want for this game? 25 bucks. He just wants $25 for this game? Absolutely. And as I'm digging through his Genesis stuff, I also found this one. Golden Axe, the Sega Classic version of Golden Axe. Different artwork than the original. But of note, the cartridge is the exact same as the regular. The manual is in black and white. This one does come with the inserts as well, which, you know, there's this question of if you get uh, inserts with the game, does that make it complete or is it just the manual that makes it complete? If you don't care about video games, I'm sorry I'm boring you with this information. He wanted $15 for it. So he said, let's do 40 for these. And then I said, I'm interested in Aladdin. Would you go any lower on the price? 55. 15 on Aladdin, 25 on Captain America, 15 on Golden Axe, they're all complete. Awesome little meager finds, but cool finds. I don't see Sega Genesis stuff anymore complete in box. Especially stuff that is not Eternal Champions or some other, you know, Sonic game, you know, complete in box. So very cool to find these. I don't think I've ever seen this Captain America game before. Small little franchise from this uh, little company, I believe, called Marvel. The other find was my buddy Jaime, who uh, I bought from the week prior. He said, hey, I got some new PS4 and Xbox One games. Wasn't interested in much except for this one, Cyberpunk. Uh, the reason I'm interested in this game is because it has now supposedly been patched. You pop this into your PS5 and I think you're supposed to get the, the newer version of it. It's a two disc PS4 game. That's I think a very rare thing in and of itself. Eight bucks, goes brand new for 15 to 20. Nice little find, happy to add it into the collection. So yeah, swap meet was pretty quick, pretty to the point. But how about OfferUp? What's going on game hunting on OfferUp? Well, I found a few items. This was up on OfferUp and no less than two minutes after it was posted, I made an offer. All right, let's see what we got. They're in, the yeah. they're in that box right there. You can put them on the couch if you want. Cool, okay. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. He had it up for, he said $20. I didn't even know he had them in there to be honest. Oh yeah. But then he said make an offer. So I wasn't sure if he was saying $20 or like make a lower offer. So I offered him 40 bucks. The offer was accepted. A couple boxes in there for sure. Dude, punch out all day. I said, I will be there right away. And I literally, that was the only way I think I could have pulled this off because by the time I arrived, he said- It's crazy. Cause like- You probably got like thousand three, messages. Like right away. Yeah. Like, but you were the first one. I was like, done, you're gone, they're done. I'm gonna go through these from I'm going to say least exciting to most exciting. Baseball on the NES. <laughs> Baseball on the NES, a classic sports title. It is a black box game because the original games that they made on their Nintendo were put in this box that is black with the graphics highlighted. It was to show how powerful the Nintendo Entertainment System's graphic capabilities were. Raid on Bungling Bay. I've watched some gameplay footage of this and it looks 
terrible. Blades of Steel, which for my money is still one of the most fun games on the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is the regular label, regular version of the game. I love this game. It's a cheap game. It is still super fun to this day. Even people who are raised on the new stuff come back to this game and love playing it. Mock Rider, which is known for being officially NES hard. I'm going to give this a play. If I like it, I'm going to keep it. If not, it's going to go right to the resale pile. How about Rush and Attack? Rush an Attack is a classic arcade game. This was ported by Konami. It's just to go from left to right, get the bad guys, raid the base, save the day, yeehaw. How about these classic NES sleeves, by the way, right? I mean, if that doesn't bring you back to 1980-something, then what will? Now we get into the more exciting games. The first one is this one, Excite Bike, another black box classic game. Still fun to play to this day, although in short spurts, probably not a game you're gonna play for hours. Contra, the classic run and gun game from Konami. We all know the code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, or select start if you're doing two players. This game is awesome and it is still a, a fun game. I'll play this game multiple times a year. Great multiplayer game as well. How about the gold cartridge of The Legend of Zelda, the original NES classic. This one is like nearly pristine. It is in great shape. And maybe the biggest heavy hitter of the bunch, though not a heavy, heavy hitter, was this one. Mike Tyson's NES Punch-Out. Now I've got a plan for this game. My buddies over at The Head Games, they showed their SoCal Gaming Expo video, and he said he was looking for a copy of this game. He ended up supposedly finding one, and he found one with a junkie label and paid like 30 something. I'm just gonna give this to you. This is a super clean label, super great copy of the game. Guys, this is my gift to you. I got a great deal on it. I want you to have it. You keep on being awesome. Last things in the lot were this manual without the cover for Super Mario Brothers and an NES controller. Thanks, so I'm glad that worked it's, out. Yeah, no, perfect. Me too, man. Okay, another offer up score. Let's see what's in this box. PS2s have really come back in popularity and the nostalgia is real for these consoles. You can now also play them very easily with aftermarket HDMI adapter cables. They're not great cables in many cases if you just go to Amazon and get a couple of them, but there are some good options if you just want to relive some of these classics. I'm going to show you a PS2 bundle that I found for very good, very cheap price. So the first is this silver slim PS2 model. I am so reluctant to, whoa, the door just flies wide open. Hello, I'm a PS2. Aw, I've interrupted happy time. Normally on OfferUp, I'm seeing PS2s all day for 80 to $100 for a complete console, which this one is complete, it has all the cables, and maybe one or two games. So this seller had this and all of what I'm about to show you. And you want 100 for everything? Yeah. Awesome. So the first thing I saw in the listing was this copy of Final Fantasy VIII. Do you have any more PlayStation 1 games or is this it? I got a fine, but I know, just to tell you now, if I did, we don't have the cases anymore. Yeah. We have it on like an, I don't know if you remember those old CD. I remember. And then there's all of these games that came in the lot. Now here's what we got in here. Everything on this side does not have a manual. All of these over here do have the manual. So many games. So average of value, but still really cool. We got Final Fantasy, Spyro, Sly 1, 2, and 3. We've also got games like Ghost Rider, which is not a very common game that I've seen for the PS2. I could be wrong, but I have I barely see it out there. Ratchet and Clank Deadlock, a bunch of Harry Potters, Kingdom Hearts, Iron Man, all three of the Ty the Tasmanian Tiger games, which weirdly just got remastered. Was anybody clamoring to replay Ty? That's just kind of strange to me. Cool. All right, 100 bucks. There you go. Kind of make sure it looks good. The seller was very kind. Great deal. Thank you so much. So right now I'm going to head over to a pickup from OfferUp. There's a good deal online for a Super Nintendo game and a couple N64 games. They accepted my offer. I'm going to go see if they'll let me film and pick up these games. Okay, I've got some Doom, some Call of Duty. Okay, you got a PS1. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, wow, you got a lot of fun stuff in here. Packs. Okay, I'll grab all the stuff I'm interested in. Kingdom Hearts. Is the game in there? No. PUBG. It happens. Same with this one. 
First thing I got in this was NBA Jam Tournament Edition. It does have rental stickers on it. The other one is Doom on the Super Nintendo. I have this on the PS1. I don't know that I want to go back to this version of it, but it is still really cool to have just because of the red cartridge and the classic status of the game itself. And probably the most exciting Super Nintendo game in the lot, although the label's a little rough, Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Now you can tell something here. If it says assembled in Mexico on the bottom, it's the Majesco re-release. They're slightly lower quality labels. They're almost papery and not glossy, but they're every bit as authentic as the real things. And Konami in particular had a few of these different games that they re-released. They're still authentic, real, actual copies of the game. But if you see that it's made in Japan, it's got a glossier label on it. It just looks cleaner overall. How about some legend? Legend of Zelda, yes, we got some of that, but for the N64. Here's Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This label has definitely seen better days, uh, but this game is still a classic. It doesn't matter. If you want just the original authentic experience, this is a great one to get. And for the N64, Majora's Mask. This is the holographic label that um, looks 3D. There is a label that is just flat and it doesn't have anything on it. All told, I negotiated the lot down to 90 bucks for everything. 90 bucks for these games, some real great titles in here. So, another successful offer up score. Very happy. And that's it. That's the combination of my finds from the swap meet and from offer up. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you checking out the channel. I am Mort, this is The Garage, and you are my special guest. Thank you for being here. May you have a lovely and wonderful rest of your day.